Hey, what up everyone? Tyler here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you're new. Today's video, we're going to be looking at a vlog that I shot when I went to the East Coast, looking at four different schools. It's a continuation of the last vlog, so I'll link that up here, um, which looked at UVA and Georgetown. And this one, we're going to be looking at Columbia, NYU, uh, Harvard, and Yale. But yeah, and so we're going to give hopefully some overviews of the campuses. And then at the end, um, per usual, I'll give a review on the vibe, the area, and the campus. There are chapters if there's a school you want to skip to. But yeah, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Comment if you have any questions about the schools or with your favorite school. And let's get into it. Good morning, it's 5.30. <laughs> it's 5.30 in the morning. I woke up early. I'm gonna get dropped off at the train. We're gonna leave at six so I can get the 6.30 train and then I'm taking the train from here, from Richmond all the way up to New York. Like a seven hour train ride and yeah. And then we'll be in our next city checking out more school. <laughs> So just got off the metro in Brooklyn, staying with a friend here, and I'm going to shower, eat, because I've only eaten some almonds today, <laughs> and then do some work, and I think we're just watching RuPaul's Drag Race today, so it's a chill day, um, and we'll likely be doing some school tours coming up, probably tomorrow. What up everyone? So it's Friday morning. I just finished most of my work. So I think I'm gonna shower, run up to Columbia to try and see if I can see around their campus. Um, and then I know I'm going to be meeting up with some friends for drinks tonight. So that's the plan. I'm gonna try and see Columbia today before it's like raining this weekend. It's about an hour away from where I'm at. And then NYU probably, depending on the weather, maybe Sunday morning or Monday morning should be fine either way. It's not too far. Or even honestly, if I do it Monday, I train out Monday evening. Um, I should be able to see it and just pop out, see it, and then get back on the train and go. So those are the schools we're going to be checking out while we're here, but it's been really great so far. The weather is wild. Definitely <laughs> the vibes are so different from Virginia. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that, get ready, and we'll head out. All right, time to head out. But always bring your headphones. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is a dramatic change of events. It was not supposed to start raining until like nine tonight. It's so, it's like pouring. <laughs> like, so, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, you can see the school a little bit from here, so that's cool. Uh, area's nice, <laughs> but like, what the f hey, I'll, I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so this is what is happening right now, but here's, woo, we made it. So, um, it says it's supposed to stop in like 30 minutes. So I might just stand <laughs> under this little archway for 30 minutes and then hope it stops and uh, get to go walk around. But kind of funny. I don't know. It is what it is. It's just rain. So at least it's not super hot. <laughs> There's not much you can do about it. Okay. Yeah, so it's done. It was like 10 minutes. Uh, and like now the rain is, <laughs> now the rain is gone. 
so here we are we made it and uh i'll show you all around a little bit so this is like the big dome building i think they have their uh, like orientation or commencement or something going on right now but look at how nice the sky is now here and that's where it was raining That's an orientation group for the 1L Law students, LOL. So kind of funny that I'm here right now. All right, so I made it to out front of the Law Library. Um, yeah, I mean, this part of campus is really, really cool. It's obviously very in the city, which I think similar to any of the schools in New York would be except for I mean New York City not um, like necessarily Cornell or something but yeah I mean it's really really cool uh, I like the vibe it's definitely a little loud but I'm assuming all the windows are like double paned and stuff and I don't know there's something like really electric about this campus that's kind of cool but in a different way than Georgetown with um, all the political stuff going on there so yeah I mean it just feels a lot more hustle bustle but really really cool so I kind of like that look at all these pigeons all right so can't go inside um because i don't have a student id so that's whatever it's totally fine you know we say virtual tours <laughs> not me i was getting hit But we're gonna head back to Brooklyn right now and get a drink with some friends. Uh, yeah, so that's Columbia for the day. I'll do a little review somewhere it's a little quieter when I'm back home tomorrow. Okay, so we went to a bar up on a roof, and apparently it's the first day it opened, but then their credit card machine was down and we didn't have to pay for anything. So make sure to, uh, what was this place called? Yeah, Tippy Bar Dinner. I don't know what it was called. I'll put the link in the description. If you're in New York, go here. <laughs> All right, you guys, it was called Clinton Hall. Go to Clinton Hall, sorry. Thank you for the free drinks. Twelve seconds later. I'm so hungover. I haven't been out drinking in a minute. All right, so I showered. I also realized I never really did a little like thoughts on Columbia. Um, I mean, Columbia's campus was crazy. <laughs> I have never been to a school like that. Um, so it was like just really stunning. And I talked to a few people uh, that are just like friends of friends down here. They're talking about how it kind of feels like you get away from the hustle and bustle of like Manhattan there just cause it is like, it's on its own separate campus. And I mean, there's like these big gates you walk through, which is also kind of nice. Cause I feel like if I'm going to or leaving class, I'll be able to like step off campus, you know, and kind of leave whatever I'm working on there. So just for like mental health and like life balance, that is very appealing. That's just initial thoughts. I'll do like the, I'll do the ratings at the end about the vibe, the area and the campus um, in more detail. I really want to get into the New York schools. <laughs> uh, I mean, I want to get into like all my schools, but I'm going to um, let my phone charge a little bit so I can record, get on the train, and then get a coffee and walk around NYU's law school. So let's go do that. Yeah. 
we made it. Got some coffee, thank God. So we're just walking around the area. I also forgot my glasses, so. <laughs> not the best place to film because there's a bus but just like the other schools i uh, can't really go in or see anything right now but yeah i mean it's like essentially just popped into the city next to uh washington square park um so i hung out there had some coffee yeah. okay so it's time for me to get some pizza get on the train to head to the Amtrak. So I need to get in to Manhattan from Brooklyn. Um, yeah, and then we're heading up to Connecticut. So it's probably gonna be dark most of that train. So uh, I might not really film anything, but, um, but yeah, if not, and then tomorrow we're gonna be in New Haven just for a little bit and then train up to Boston. And yeah, we just keep it pushing. So we're going to Connecticut tonight, y'all. Let's go to Yale. <laughs> LOL. staying at a Marriott so you know the vibes yeah it's nine o'clock gonna FaceTime I FaceTime my boyfriend this is the bathroom this is the bed one king that big freaking chair Let's see if I can show you the view it's pretty dark okay <laughs> oh Popeyes um and that's all you can see. Maybe we'll see something else in the morning. But yeah, so I just got here, got to Connecticut. We officially made it. We'll see you in the morning. Check mix in a Snickers, cause why not? And also, um, I think there's breakfast in the morning before 9.30. So as long as I get up before then, so as long as I set my alarms for AM and not PM, like I accidentally did today, it should be good. But I'm gonna clock out for the night. See you tomorrow. Also, if you've been enjoying the vlog so far, be sure to like and subscribe. And also comment, what's been your favorite place um, so far, in your opinion? Mm, yeah, so yeah, breakfast. Okay, good morning everyone. So I just showered. Um, I'm going to go eat some breakfast, even though my stomach hurts a little bit. That is what it is. Um, but yeah, so we'll see Yale. It should be just like a little bit that way from the hotel. And then, ooh, and then I'll do some work and then we take the train to Boston tonight. Yeah, you can see, um, the lighting's a little weird in here, but you can see out of the window now. So I'll show you the view. It's like nothing crazy, but it's supposed to be somewhere over there. So I've essentially finished uh, most of my work for today. I'm gonna have like another call or something. Um, I'm just gonna work on my personal statement because applications open uh, tomorrow or something. I don't know, holy shit. So I want everything to be, I think it's in like a much better place than it was even just a week ago. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on my personal statement. Um, I think my resume is pretty much good. Additional essays and stuff, I'll have to see once they get posted live because I won't know until they're there. Yeah, I think I've done most of what I can do, but. I'm gonna work from the lobby a little bit and then head out to the law school this afternoon and then get some lunch because uh, my train's not till 7 so you know we got some time all right so we're walking to the law school it's kind of funny because like this whole town is just like a little like college Yale town but we'll head over um, and then go get some lunch and work on my application materials more and that's what we'll do today
so we're sitting out front. I'm not gonna lie, it's really weird to be here. <laughs> Especially not as a student or anything, to just like look around. Yeah, the imposter syndrome just like hits so fast and it's like, why would I even apply here? I would never get in, I don't know. But yeah, it's really interesting. It's definitely, it feels like a campus. I mean, the whole city feels like a campus. So, so different from New York. I don't know, not bad, right? It's the best law school in the country, so. Uh, all right, so my train is in like two hours to Boston. Got a recommendation to go to Donut Crazy, and uh, I f with donuts. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, uh, kill some time at the hotel, and then go to the train. Pretty good. But uh, I also feel like I might be sick. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar, but it was really good. All right, so I made it to the train station in New Haven. Not gonna lie, New Haven was weird. <laughs> Especially, I think just being here by myself, like I don't know anyone here, I didn't know what to do. And it's quite literally the best law school in the country. So I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> You know, not that I couldn't get in, I don't know, I think everyone should try if they have a really good chance, but it's just numbers at the end of the day, right? It's like, it's whatever. But yeah, I don't know, just a much different vibe, very, very weird. But yeah, I'm excited to go to Boston, I'm staying with a friend there, that'll be a nice way to end the trip. I've been gone for like two weeks, so I'm like ready. <laughs> I think I'm ready for it to wind down, um, but it has been really, really good. I'll give some more insight on uh, just my thoughts about the different schools and the locations, because obviously what vibes with me might not vibe with you, but just gonna get on the train. I'll get into Boston around 10, uh, probably get to my friends around 10, 30, 11. Yeah, <laughs> it's been so crazy. Boston. I'm walking from the metro to my friend's house. Um, so that's probably it for today. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, but we'll be checking out Harvard while we're here, possibly Boston University, which fun fact is one of the schools I'll be in last year. Um, so if you're just joining on this journey, <laughs> I am reapplying. So yeah, but have a good night. See you in the morning. All right. Good morning. I'm on my way to pick up breakfast and then gonna do some work. Applications are officially open today. Ooh, it's September 1st. <laughs> so I guess that's exciting. But it's probably gonna be raining later today. Bruh. Sorry, it's like the loudest street on the planet right now. <laughs> like a large car and a leaf blower probably gonna be raining later so I'm not sure how much I'll actually be able to show you but I'll give you as much of a rundown as I can uh, and obviously show you what I can so <sighs> crazy all right so as you can see it's really raining like very hard um, but we've <laughs> we've ubered to the law school and I'll show you what I can but don't expect much so this feels right I feel uh, spiritually attached to this place. I don't know what it is. All right, I am on the hunt to find the tree that L. Woods ran outside to class to. If we find that tree, we'll count this as a successful tour. <laughs> Not that it matters.
right, we could not find the tree, but that's fine. We're now under this cover, because uh, it smells it smells like fish sticks here though. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go get food and drinks and I'll give you guys thoughts later. Um, but that essentially is all the schools we're gonna see, so we did it! Uh, yeah, and I'll give you guys just thoughts when I'm back in San Diego, so. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so we are heading to the subway to head back to the airport to go back to San Diego now, so bye Boston. Alright, so that was all the schools. I'm obviously back in San Diego. So I'm gonna do a quick run through of the overview because I did talk a fair amount. You saw, I think, a good amount of footage of each of the schools. But first, let's start with Columbia. So, Columbia's vibe, I really love the vibe of Columbia. I thought it was great. Probably one of the most gorgeous campuses I've been to, um, just in general. So, yeah, I really love that school. Really like the way it's set up in the city. It just has a very scholarly vibe to it. So, I think it would be really, really easy to focus on courses and then also it's um, you know in New York which brings me to the area and the area is just like awesome you know if you like large cities I think New York has something for everyone it could be a little overwhelming if that's not um, what you're looking for but also New York is the largest legal market in the US so um, that's definitely a bonus. Yeah, I mean the campus, I would honestly give it like a 9 or 10 out of 10. Like even though it was like pouring rain and maybe that had something to do with it, the nostalgia and like bromance of the campus, but um, really loved it. So uh, vibe overall, I'd give it like, like a 9 out of 10. And then the area, I really love New York. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. And I think job wise, um, there's a ton of great options. Yeah, and campus, we'll give it a 9 out of 10, which so Columbia is like the highest rated school I think right now. but. It it also could be a little biased, take everything I say with a grain of salt, just because I really enjoyed my time in New York on this trip, so. <laughs> You know, that is what it is. And then NYU is next. So NYU, the vibe, similar, you know, the area is obviously like kind of similar because it's situated in New York, but it is in a different part. It's near Washington Square Park, um, which is kind of nice. You know, you can go out into the park, but it is a little overwhelming sometimes when you step right out of class and um, there's just like a bunch of people at the park, whereas Columbia was a little separated. But the vibe of NYU, I definitely give it like an eight out of 10. Really liked it. it seems, you know, like a great place to go to school. Love all the brick. Seems like, I don't know, like there's a lot of other students too so it's kind of a nice mix because a lot of NYU's campus is in that whole like Washington Square Park area and then the area is gonna be similar to Columbia I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 like New York I think is just great even though it is in a different part of New York and you could probably live in Brooklyn if you're going to NYU where you most likely would have to live in Manhattan for Columbia so that is a difference depending on what type of commute you're down to deal with especially when it's like cold and the trains are breaking down and <laughs> all that type of stuff and then campus wise I mean I like that it does open up into a park but it is a public park so it does have a little, um, it feels a little more integrated in the city, so I'm just going to give it an 8 out of 10 for that reason, just because I do really like the campuses that have felt a little separate, so I can leave the campus, leave all of my legal studies there at the end of the day, um, and focus on my personal life when I go home and my relationship. So those are just personal preferences though, you know, like I said, comment below if you agree or not. <laughs> and then heading to Yale. So Yale was definitely a, a weird one for me because I was there by myself and it is the best law school in the country, you know? So um, like I said, I just felt a little out of place just because I don't know if anyone assumes they'll get in or deserves to be there and like, and des deserves to be there, right? It's a school. As far as the vibe goes, I mean, if you're really into college towns, I think it's great. Like, like in New Haven, it feels like the only thing that really matters there is Yale um, and not much else. So for me, I'm, it would give it a seven out of 10. Like um, that's not super the experience I am looking for, but you know, the education you would get there and the people you'd meet is amazing. Area, I mean, it's kind of similar to vibe. It does feel very scholastic and the campus itself is like, it looks like a castle and like you can't even see the common area courtyard lawn unless you're a current student who has access to that. So that was a little weird because I almost felt like I was just outside the citadel, like trying to go 
about <laughs> what I could. So for area, I'll give it, um, I mean, I'll give it a seven out of 10 as well, because you could take a train to a larger city if you wanted, but you know, it's not immediately access accessible. So that's something to keep in mind. The campus, I mean, the campus is stunning. Like the school itself was so, so cool and like very old timey. And like, you could just feel like the history of the school there. Um, so I'll give that an eight out of 10. Like I love the campus, it was really cool. And then finally Harvard. So Harvard was really fun. Honestly, I thought it was a good mix in between New York, the vibe. So, I mean, I was in Cambridge, not necessarily in Boston, when I stayed to visit because that's where my friend lives and that's where Harvard is so you know I liked it it was kind of rainy which also was kind of nice like it made it feel similar to Columbia like a little romantic and like just like I was in a movie except there was a lot of construction but that is what it is um, but there was a lot of really good food it, was, it seemed like a nice atmosphere at least for me so I'll give it an 8 out of 10 and then the area I mean Boston seems great um, it is also close to New York and other cities but it seems like there's a lot of things to do there there's a lot of places to eat there's a lot of things to explore which matters to me because um, at the end of the day I'm moving with my partner there and I want them to feel like the city is just as much theirs as it is as it is mine and I feel like that can totally happen in Boston so I'm giving the area an 8 out of 10 as well and then the campus was awesome like honestly I it could be because of the rain again but it felt almost like a mix between Columbia and NYU like it felt separate enough but still integrated into the city if that makes sense like you could just walk off and go somewhere if you wanted but when you're on campus it feels like you're on a campus you know so yeah so I give the campus an 8 out of 10 as well very solid great school you know all these schools I'm seeing are awesome and i'd be happy to go to any of them so yeah if you have other schools too that you're checking out comment them down below thank you so much for watching this video yeah but like and subscribe it's been super fun seeing your dms and responding to people and good luck to everyone who's taking the lsat in november wishing everyone the best of luck this process can kind of suck so i made this channel to one i didn't see a lot of queer representation on you know legal youtube and also as a non-traditional student just wanted to give you know a different perspective on things and i'm a reapplicant, so I don't know, like, I feel like there's a lot of things I was looking for on YouTube that I wasn't finding, so hopefully these videos are helpful whether you're a reapplicant or a KJD or non-traditional whatever. Hopefully they're just, like, down to earth and chill and don't stress you out because I know the process is stressful, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.